Toy Box Magic. <laughs> hey guys, it's Toy Box Magic, and today we have a super special video for you guys. I can't wait to do this video. Today we are going to take two Wild Carrot Shopkins, and these are season three, I believe, season three Shopkins, and we have a pair of them here, the Wild Carrots in white, and we're going to take these and we're going to make a set of earrings with them. We're so excited. So let me go over first what you're going to need, the tools you're going to need to get started on this project. I have a pair of flat, small jewelry pliers, but any any pliers will probably work for you just so long as you have a pair and I like to actually have two pairs so that I can open up my rings easily it doesn't really matter what kind of pliers you have just a couple of pairs of small pliers will work next you're gonna want some screw eyes and I have these in silver here and these are size 216 which are one half inch so these are some really tiny little screw eyes and I think these should be good for the job that we have today Next, you're gonna want some jump rings. I have a 105 pack here and mine has all assorted sizes in here, but if you wanna just get one pack with a few of the same size, that's fine too. You're gonna to probably want like maybe a small to medium sized jump ring. So I've got this and then I've got a pack of fish hook earrings. And this is what we're actually gonna use for the earring part of our earrings. And then of course, you're gonna want two Shopkins. When I'm Doing Shopkins in any type of jewelry, I like to choose the smaller Shopkins just because I'm not a big fan of huge pieces of jewelry, especially since these are going to go on the ears. I like the smaller ones that are, that are lighter to wear, so I think these two are going to be perfect for earrings. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to want to do is open up my pack of screw eyes, and I'm going to take two of these out. I guess just like that is the best way. And I'm going to want two of these for my earrings. Now, I'll put this the rest of the pack aside. Oh, I actually have three. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my Shopkins and I want to take my screw eye and I'm going to hold it with my pair of pliers, just like that. I'm going to pinch it with my pair of pliers. And you want to hold it pretty tight so it doesn't slip. And I'm going to put this, I'm going to come in right in the back of my Shopkins. See, if this is the face of the Shopkins, I want it to be right behind here, probably like right here. And I'm just going to press a little hard and screw this in, and just turning it really gently with my pliers, just like that. Just like that, just keep turning it. And then, once you have it all the way in, just like this. Okay. Next, we're going to, let's open up our pack of jump rings. And we're going to take two out. And I'm looking for two. Let's open this. I'm looking for two the same size that are probably about, I'd say maybe this one is sufficient. Okay, so I wanna look for another one just like that. So I've taken out two jump rings that are the same size and they're fairly small. You can get a good look at, it, at them right here. They're, they're fairly small jump rings. They're not tiny, but they're small enough to fit on our small earrings. And what we're going to do is now we're going to open our pack of earrings, the earring hooks. Let's take these out and we're going to grab a couple of these. You just need two for this project. So now we've got a couple of our earrings and this is what it looks like. And these, I bought these at Michael's and they're just called fish hook earrings. And this was about $1.99 for this pack of 30. And you probably won't need that many if you're only doing a pair or two. So I've got my earring and I've got my jump rings. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my first jump ring and I'm gonna hold it in my pliers like that. And then I'm gonna take my second pair of pliers and I'm gonna just separate them. So you can see, and get a close up of what I've done. I've just opened the jump ring. 
like that. I've just opened it, I've separated it so that I can slip the earring inside. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Shopkins and I'm gonna slip the hook right inside just like that. Then I'm gonna take my earring and there's a little bitty hole on the end of this earring. And I'm just gonna take my Shopkins still in my hand with my jump ring separated and I'm gonna slip the earring hole just like that. Next, I'm gonna take my second pair of pliers and close it up. You wanna make sure that your jump ring is closed pretty tight, so you might give it a squeeze after it's closed. And there you go, there's my finished product. Here's my earring, isn't she so cute? I think she's adorable, and it hangs just like that. Oh, I think she's so cute. So next, I'm gonna work on my other one, and after that, once we're done, we're gonna sparkle them up, and they're gonna be so adorable. Okay, my Shopkins earrings are all finished, and I think they're so totally adorable. What do you guys think? I can't wait to wear them. Here they are, all finished. They're dangly Shopkins earrings, and I think they're so cute. And next, what I wanna do, since I like the little sparkle, and you can do this with any polish or none at all if you choose. I like to take my silver sparkle polish, and this is what I use. I got this at the Dollar Tree, it was very inexpensive. And it's just a clear polish with silver sparkles on it, and I like to take this after I'm done with my jewelry and just go over some of the areas and put some sparkles on it. So I'm just gonna do this real lightly. I don't like it too flashy, but I like a little bit of bling on it. And I just go over some of the areas like that. And maybe the feet will do. So here's my finished product. What do you think, guys? I think they came out so super adorable. I can't wait to wear them. Let us know what you think. Write us a comment below and let us know if you love them as much as I do. I think they're so adorable. I can't wait to wear them. Well, I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned a lot from it. And if you did, please click the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our super awesome channel. We have lots of other DIY videos and a lot of Shopkins DIY videos as well. You'll love them. Check them out. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye-bye for now. Toy Box Magic! <laughs> hey guys, it's Toy Box Magic, and today we have a super special video for you guys. I can't wait to do this video. Today we are going to take two Wild Carrot Shopkins, and these are season three, I believe, season three Shopkins, and we have a pair of them here, the Wild Carrots in white, and we're gonna take these and we're gonna make a set of earrings with them. We're so excited. So let me go over first what you're gonna need, the tools you're gonna need to get started on this project. I have a pair of flat, small jewelry pliers, but any, any pliers will probably work for you, just so long as you have a pair. And I like to actually have two pairs so that I can open up my rings easily. It doesn't really matter what kind of pliers you have, just a couple of pairs of small pliers will work. Next, you're gonna want some screw eyes. And I have these in silver here, and these are size 216, which are one half inch. So these are some really tiny little screw eyes, and I think these should be good for the job that we have today. Next, you're gonna want some jump rings. I have a 105 pack here, and mine has all assorted sizes in here, but if you wanna just get one pack with a few of the same size, that's fine too. You're gonna to probably want like maybe a small to medium sized jump ring. So I've got this, and then I've got a pack of fish hook earrings. And this is what we're actually gonna use for the earring part of our earrings. 